Hello, welcome to World of Warships. My name is Leo. Thank you for watching the video. Today we're going to be playing in the Arkansas Beta, and the Arkansas Beta was a reward ship for participating in the closed beta. I participated in the closed beta, so I got the ship. And today we're going to be playing it on Big Race. We're taking a look at the team lineup. Uh, both sides have four battleships. Looks like they have an advantage in uh, destroyers. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I think we can. Uh, at least hold our own uh, if I can avoid being torped. Now I'm glad to see that there's no uh, uh, CVs in the game because the Arkansas Beta has no AA and uh, so you're very vulnerable to torpedo and dive bombers. Alright, taking a look at the map, one of the things with a slow battleship that I do know, and I'm by no means an expert playing battleships, is that you've got to get those big guns in the game quickly and in order to do that you've got to take a uh, you've got to figure out how can I get my guns into range without um, exposing myself to too much fire and thank you very much cruiser driver there for letting the burdened vessel have the white right away so I'm getting over here by these islands and I'm trying to line myself up where I'm running uh, almost due uh, east because I'm gonna start my zigzagging our first chance to shoot comes on this, uh, I believe that's a uh, the Phoenix over there. Broadside onto a battleship. I'm loaded. I'm ready to go. What's going to happen? I wonder. What? Oh my goodness. Well, back uh, where I come from, we call that getting your dick knocked in the dirt. Uh, so I'm pretty sure he's going to take off. And I've got another chance at another one here. Can I do it again? Can we get a repeat of that great result? Well, we shoot at him, and they look okay. Looks like uh, I let him about right. And uh, one reason I do play this ship is because I need to practice my gunnery. I'm a terrible shot. I'm a terrible shot. I'm an average player at best, but hey, not only good players can make videos. Okay, so we're going to do this again. Come on. Let's get some uh, shots in on him. And I let him a little bit too much, um, but I still managed to get three hits, four hits on him. Uh, and so now he's feeling a little bit of the pain. Uh, didn't do a lot of damage. Now he's, I'm not really sure what's going on here. He's kind of overextended. He's way out there in the front. He's got no help. I think he, he just kind of got caught up in the thrill of the battle. And I can't blame him. I mean, I get tunnel vision and uh, make irrational decisions. But uh, he turns his broadside to me just as my shells get there. And I get four hits, but I don't really do any major damage. Somebody does, though. Somebody puts a nice hit on him. So he's going to be uh, motoring in the opposite direction from us. I almost took a shot at him uh, there as he disappeared, but then I saw these two cruisers coming up. Now, um, or the cruiser in the battleship, sorry. Uh, I take some shots on the, uh, on the uh, battleship and uh, hoping that uh, I can get a citadel on him and make him kind of re- uh, think his strategy. Now if you notice I've been zigzagging back and forth using half rudder. Well you can't see the rudder control but I zigzag back and forth using half rudder which generally gives me enough uh, maneuvering to avoid most torpedoes. Uh, now I see that the cruiser that's coming up over there, the low HP cruiser, he's about dead so I want to try to take this St. Louis out. I'm figuring well let me get a citadel on this guy, and he's done. You know, he's he's out. So I fire at him, and uh, I get a, a hit, a couple hits, uh, but I don't really do much damage. And the uh, other ship is dead, of course. He was almost dead anyway. So now here is where I kind of make a mistake. See, I see the uh, the the burning ship there, that, uh, and and I'm thinking, well, he's about dead, and. I continue firing at the St. Louis. What I should have done was helped the rest of my team kill uh, uh, the, sh the battleship there and then went on the St. Louis. But I, it was a bad decision, bad gameplay on my part. Uh, but fortunately, we had enough firepower coming in to, to make up for it. And I continue shooting at this. Now, if any of you ever doubt how tough a St. Louis is, he's had a battleship shooting at him non-stop for a couple minutes now and he's backing up he's been backing up which is kinda of funny 
if I was in his position, I would have uh, full steam ahead, go out with all guns blazing, do the best I can. But he just keeps backing up. So, still trying to take him out, not having any luck. He's well angled. Uh, but he can't withstand the firepower. So now, we have cleared the east side of the map. And what have we got to do? Well, number one thing with the slow battleship, we've got to get those guns in the game. So you find where the biggest blob of enemy players is and you start heading in that direction. Now, looking at this, and I'm weighing whether I should go through the strait there or go around to the outside of the islands. Go around to the outside of the islands, I'm going to be wide open to everybody on their team. So I decide to take the risk and go for the uh, the uh, straight approach. And well, wouldn't you know it, there's a cruiser a cruiser that's armed with torpedoes. So uh, I take uh, a few shots at him, trying to uh, discourage him from coming this way. And I don't have very much effect on him. Well, I've got some support here, and uh, I decide, well, I'm just going to continue on, but I'm going to keep my bow pointed at this guy. So if he does launch torpedoes at me, I've got, uh, I'm as small a target as possible, I can maybe dodge. Fire some more shells at him. I get a, a couple hits on him. Don't do a lot of damage, but uh, I'm watching for torpedoes. And uh, seems he's fixated, and then, yes, he has. He's firing his torpedoes. He made a mistake, which made up for my mistake, which is probably why I didn't die right here. So I take my shots. I ninja a kill. Hoorah. Because, uh, uh, you know, that's what I do. Dead enemies have no guns. I have no compunctions at all about taking out taking guns out of the game. Oh, and uh, uh, my appreciation to this player here who parked his battleship and went AFK. Uh, this is what you call an XP pinata, and I beat beat it for all it was worth. Thank you for the free XP. Sorry, you had a bad game. All right, um, <clears throat> looking at the map, we appear to have this wrapped up. Um, there's uh, one enemy battleship left. We're well ahead on points. Uh, he's, you know, he, he has no choices left. He's just trying to stay alive, maybe avoid a repair bill. Comes around the island. I get a pretty good lead on him. And I hit, but I don't do an awful lot of damage. That was six hits, no citadels, and that's a Miyogi. So... Um, he turns in, he's decided he's going to die with all guns blazing, comes around the corner, and I'm waiting for him, I'm fully loaded, uh, and I just basically put a couple shells at him and he's done, aiming at where his waterline is going to be when my shells get there, and no citadels, but we got the hit, and that was a good result for me, especially in a battleship, 168,000 credits, 2,800 experience, 2 kills, 2 citadels, 46 hits with the shells. Number one on the team, 1,043 base experience. That was a good game for us. This is Leo. Thank you for watching the video. See you next time.